so uh, this is just a quick tutorial on how to archive a scene and then place it into a uh, Google folder. So this is honestly what I do if I ever need feedback from, from a fellow animator and I just wanna give them my scene so they can actually look inside of the animation. This is incredibly helpful if you are getting feedback from a professional animator or just a friend to get some feedback. This is something that you absolutely want to implement. So as you can see right now, I'm, I'm, I'm in this Google folder. This is for class. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to open up one of my Maya scenes. Uh, let's open up, let's just do one of the ones that I'm currently working on. Uh, let's look at the demo reel. Let's go to Isaac. And let's just do the Isaac walk cycle 007. So again, friendly reminder to everyone, this is part of the grade. If you wanted to make it even easier, this is part of participation and engagement. Um, it's not gonna be a huge portion, but this is honestly for me to kind of assess your, your final animation. Um, and it's also a, a really good deterrent for anyone who may be um, taking someone else's animation. Again, not to say that anyone's doing that, but uh, a good precaution nonetheless. Okay, so uh, say this is my animation and I'm like, oh man, uh, I really want to share this animation with a colleague, uh, but I can like, how do I share this? Because if you just share the link uh, with the file, the file is not going to contain any of the reference, the camera, like any of it. It's just, it's just going to be an empty scene because I've referenced this animation rig. So to archive this where it has all of the contents that I need, literally all you have to do and this is an open invitation for everyone in the class all you need to do is go to uh, archive scene and you're going to click on this little box here click on that box and make sure that this is clicked include external file of unloaded references and then you're going to click on archive uh, it's going to say something like the scene has been modified since last, uh, do you want to save the scene before archiving? Depends. If you want to save it, great. If you messed up like I did at the time, I think I'm going to click on no and it's going to archive. And then more often than not, you're going to be like, oh, well, where did it go? Like what happened to it? It's literally exactly where your um, file is. And as you can see, I've already done this. Uh, file 006. I gave this to a fellow animator at work and I was just like, hey man, can you check this out? It's doing some wonky stuff. And he literally just opened it up, double clicked it, unzipped it. All of the stuff was there, the rig, the reference, everything. And it's just there. It's just so much easier. So all you have to do is now go to wherever the file is, where you usually save. Um, and then I'm just going to double click here. And then all I have to do is just drag and drop. Boom. And it's an even smaller file format. So if you're ever worried about like, oh, this file is too big, it automatically zips it up for you. So this is a complete alternative that you're all more than welcome to use. Again, I have this recorded so that everyone can kind of just take a look at it. And if, if anyone's watching this video just to learn how to archive a scene, that's how you archive a scene. And that's the easiest way, in my opinion, to share your work with another animator to get reviewed. So hopefully that is of assistance. And uh, yeah, happy animating.